Hi everyone, Donna Nelson here, founder of the Adopt a Single Mom Project and Adopt a Single Mom for Christmas. It is 2020 and it is our fourth annual Adopt a Single Mom for Christmas gift drive and I am so psyched about this year and I'm going to actually outline for you what to expect this year, how you can nominate a working single mom living here in Northeastern Pennsylvania, how you can get involved to volunteer, how you can um, support us in gifting 200 working single moms this year, which is our big audacious goal. It's more than twice as much as we did last year, um, which was our biggest year of gifting 94 working single moms here in Northeastern Pennsylvania. So if you're new to the Adopt Single Mom Project, because maybe someone shared this video on their timeline and you're just watching it now and hearing about us, or by the grace of God, Facebook has somehow um, synchronicity <laughs> brought us together. Um, I want to say welcome and let me tell you a little bit about the Adopt a Single Mom Project. We are um, a community organization that supports working single moms who live here in Northeastern Pennsylvania and beyond because through social media, we're able to reach and connect with women all over the world who are single moms, working and supporting their kiddos who are looking for meaningful a meaningful support system and so we are a membership organization that single moms get to come into and get support throughout the year um, emotional support social support uh, meaningful connection with other women who are moving their lives forward, looking to thrive, looking for guidance and mentoring um, and personal development in ways that they can support themselves and their kids to thrive um, as women and as moms. So um, we invite you, if you're a working single mom watching this right now, we invite you to go to our website, adoptasinglemom.org and go to um, become a member and learn about um, becoming a member of the Adopt a Single Mom Project. Um, and then the Christmas gift drive is our big initiative um, for uh, outreach and our philanthropic um, drive throughout the year to connect with working single moms um, all over Northeastern Pennsylvania that we might not have had the opportunity to meet otherwise. Um, so uh, for the gift drive, we are, again, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, we have a goal this year of gifting 200 single moms. She must live in Northeastern Pennsylvania um, and she should be working or unless she is typically working but not working now because of the pandemic. And um, that is part of the reason why this year particularly is so critically important for us to make a connection with the working single mom because she has been impacted more than any other um, segment of our community and it's very silent right now um, for her and part of that is because she is either at home and no one knows um, all of the struggles or she's just working and um, trying to figure it all out the same way that she always has so we'll talk a little bit about what it is that we do, um, why it's important, who are these women that we are um, striving to support. Um, so the gift drive, as I mentioned, um, is our big initiative and the way that it works, we raise $100 for each mom. She is nominated um, by someone in the community. Anyone can refer a working single mom or um, she can self refer. So if you're a single mom who works please nominate yourself. It's an amazing experience and it's an entryway um, for us to connect and get to um, have some meaningful relationship throughout the year. Hey, Laura, thanks for plugging in. So good to see you again. Um, so, so the $100, we buy gifts locally um, and then we hand deliver them to um, the mom right before Christmas. So if you're looking for something fun and really meaningful as a way to really connect with your community and OMG for the love of God, <laughs> a way to get out of the house doing something really important um, as we're on lockdown again, um, please sign up to volunteer with us. And you can do that on our website at adoptasinglemom.org. There's 
um, a tab button at the top that says volunteer, fill out the form, and in a couple of weeks, um, we'll be connecting with you to get lined up to um, fill in a role any way that you want to. And we are looking for um, people to help us throughout the year, not just at Christmas, but right now we could really use your help. So, um, so, so that's how we do the Christmas gift drive. This is for um, mom, we support moms who are from pregnant to having kiddos up to age 21. Um, and it could be a grandmother, an aunt, um, a mom. It did, we have moms of all um, types um, that may not even be their biological children or maybe just foster caring temporarily, but they're single moms, maybe grandparents or some other um, family or caregiver that um, is taking care of the kiddos um, either temporarily or permanently. So we invite you um, to please think of this mom and refer her um, to our organization, but especially nominate her for our Christmas gift drive so we can support her. So why is it so important to gift these working single moms? Well, right now, um, just I live in Luzerne County and we cover all of Northeastern Pennsylvania. And right now in just Lackawanna in Luzerne County, there are more than uh, almost 8,000 working single moms um, that are above the federal poverty level that get almost no um, support. There's no, actually no kind, no kind, <laughs> there's not any kind of support system for the working single mom anywhere in the state of Pennsylvania for that matter. So the Adopt a Single Mom Project has really been able to bring together all, filling in all of these gaps that are typical to the working single mom that moms who don't work and, um, single moms who are at the poverty level have access to more resources than these moms do at, all across the board, emotionally, mentally, um, socially, and financially, and not to leave out spiritually. So, so we created um, an organization that supports moms across all of these areas of their lives. And it's particularly important because this is such an underserved, under-recognized, under-resourced segment of our community um, across our nation, not just here in Pennsylvania or even just Northeastern Pennsylvania. So we've really started a movement of wanting to provide a greater sense of support for these moms who are working in our community, they're contributing to our community by having, um, by being out there working um, within the community, but also serving in the community in volunteer capacities, whether it's through their kids' activities or through their own passions, as well as being taxpayers, as well as you know being consumers to local business and national businesses. These are the people that we should be lifting up um, and helping walk beside them so that it, their life becomes a little easier because it's they're the ones that are passing on to this next generation um, what we need here in our community. And that is a bigger sense of community and connection and contribution. So while the single moms often go unnoticed as having these important roles in our community, I'm here to highlight that so that we can recognize them and support them so that they feel uplifted and recognized and lift a little bit of the burden um, that they feel every day of doing it alone and feeling in isolation and feeling like um, no, no one is around to recognize and support and help and just take a hand. So when you support the Adopt a Single Mom for Christmas gift drive, we put a lot of emphasis on, you know, giving the gifts to moms. We're buying her presents just so that she can have presents underneath the tree. But truly what we're doing is the gifts are just a way for us to, you know, open the door. Um, the stories that we have gotten over the last three Christmases from the hundreds of moms that we've been able to connect with um, goes so far beyond 
um, the gifts. In fact, the gifts are like the, well, that was nice, but the best part was being recognized, having someone in my community seeing my value, um, getting a hug from the person who, the volunteer who dropped off the gifts, you know, just having a few minutes just to have some adult conversation by the person who delivered the presents, seeing the joy on her kids' faces that she's getting presents, something maybe they could not have done for her, but wanted to do for for her. Um, all of these things really uplift and really build the value within this woman. And that's what we want to do because we know that when we uplift her, she's a better mom, she's a better worker, she feels better about herself. Um, and that is a really meaningful contribution to her children and to our community. So Yes, you're making a financial contribution to help us gift a working single mom. So she has presence under the tree, but it's so much bigger. And the ripple effects of that are truly priceless. So, um, so let me tell you a little bit about what some of the other things are that we're doing um, this year. So, you know, the pandemic has had a major um, impact negatively, of course, on the working single mom community. You know, some of them are still struggling with trying to get unemployment sorted out, trying to figure out how to work while schooling their kids. And then the kids are back in school and then they're not back in school and then they're half in school and then, you know, back out of school five days a week again. And it's been very challenging. Um, I don't have to tell anyone. I mean, we all know this, whether you have children in school or you don't. My son is 25, but, uh, you know, we're all surrounded by it, um, whether we're hearing it in the media or on social media or with our family and friends, how challenging, incredibly challenging this has been for families um, and for businesses. Um, so but because the businesses are having a challenge um, with employees because people have to be home with their kids. So we've all been negatively impacted, but the single mom community has been extraordinarily um, negatively impacted by this pandemic um, because of these challenges of not having adequate child care and not having um, support for her children's schooling. Um, particularly moms who have kiddos um, with special needs, um, with learning disabilities, with, you know, needing extra supports. So doing it alone um, is really mind boggling um, to even think that some of them can do it. So, um, and I, I'm looking at um, one of <laughs> some of our moms that are on right now. I mean, five kids, three kids and working a full-time job, um, you know, it's, 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 it's challenging. So I just, I'm trying to pull on your heartstrings to understand that, yes, we we're all having a hard time right now because it's different in the way that we're having to live, but single moms are having it harder and we just want to uplift and support them, um, in many different ways. Um, not just with these Christmas gifts. So our goal this year um, is $20,000 because we, as I mentioned earlier, we raise $100 for each mom, um, buy gifts um, with part of that and part of it we um, are giving in a Visa gift card so she can do whatever she wants to or needs to. And, um, and then delivering them um, to her right before Christmas. So this year, um, we are doing it the same way that I always do. And if you don't know what that is, Starting tomorrow, um, because we already have, oh my God, I forgot to say this. So already we have 71 nominations. Now, that is significant at this point in the process because I've literally, this is my first Facebook Live that I've done to even talk about the Christmas gift drive. We've been putting up some little posts, getting things kind of ready on the back end. I've sent out two emails, one to our single mom list, one to our main list, um, and shared with a couple of, um, of our community partners, and we already have 71 nominations. So I know that this year, um, we're gonna be, I'll just say, overwhelmed with the need that we already know is there. We already know there's 70, 
almost 8,000 working single moms above the federal poverty level who are our ideal mom um, for what we do here at the Adopt a Single Mom Project. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get three or four, um, not three or 400 nominations this year, having 70 already. Last year we had 219 and we only were able to raise enough money to gift 94 of them. I really don't want that to happen again this year because of the significance of um, how this year has been for the working single mom. So um, we're going to do our part um, as best we can, and we um, are confident we can gift 200 moms this year and raise $20,000 with the community support um, from all of you who have followed us and all of the new, new people who we're going to connect with. So. So we already have 70, 71 nominations and again, having just barely even gotten started, we already have fundraised um, $2,300, which means that we've, we have enough money to already give 23 of those 71 moms. And I, I just, just thinking about that and, and where we are, and I'm getting late, started on kicking all of this off by about 10 days. So for us to be just getting started, already have $2,300 in donations and 71 nominations of moms that we need to um, still fundraise for, um, or 27, however you wanna look at that number um, at this point, um, is really exciting. So please share out this video on your timeline so that those who are connected to you through social media can also, um, oh gosh, let me get rid of this message popping up in my face. Um, so that those who are connected to you that may not be connected to us can hear about this initiative, help support us either by nominating a working single mom, volunteering, or making a donation. So if you go to, and I, um, in this thread um, or in the post, there's a link to our website, adoptsinglemom.org. And there you can nominate a mom, volunteer, and also make a donation. So one of the things that um, we decided to do this year to really compound our fundraising efforts because our goal is so big um, is to do teams. So I wanna invite you, if you're hearing this and you have a group of friends who are um, very community-minded, philanthropic, looking for a way to give back um, to the community this year, I encourage you to start your own team. So you can be a fundraising team for us this year with a minimum goal of $500. If you want to be a team that is not on our website, so you have to comment in this thread or private message me and I will get you the information on becoming a team. So um, so have a goal, minimum goal of $500 and then you do the fundraising um, we give you a special link to share out with your friends and coworkers and community supporters and colleagues and clients and all of that stuff so that it goes right to your team so we can track your team goal um, against the other team. So right now we have five teams already signed up. Um, one team has already smoked their goal. Um, of a thousand dollars. They've already blown past that and it's only been two days. So we're totally jacked about that. Um, and uh, then um, it'll go right, the funding, you don't have to collect any money. <laughs> um, all of the funds will go right into the Adopt a Single Mom um, account. So, um, so if you want to be a team, we would love that. We are accepting teams until November 30th and it's a 30-day team challenge. So from November 15th, which we're already five days past that, until December 15th is the team challenge. So if you'd love to be a team, please message me um, and uh, we will get that information out too to get set up as a team. All right, so what else did I want to say? So the teams, um, how to nominate a mom, we did that. Volunteer, shopping or delivering, um, sign up for that on our website and um, donate. You can donate any amount um, and every 
every little amount <laughs> um, helps move us forward. So tomorrow, so I was that was just a, needed to figure out what, what my next thing was going to be. So tomorrow, um, the way that we do this now um, in our general sense is every day I'm going to be sharing single mom stories. So from the nomination um, applications, um, for the, mom, for the people that have given us permission to share their story, um, we're going to tell you where the, where the mom is from, so what county or town she is from, and uh, a little bit about her story and why um, we want to give this mom. So those stories go on live. Um, I come on live every day between now um, and the time we are done fundraising right before Christmas. Um, share the single mom stories and we update you on where we're at with our fundraising. So our Facebook page becomes extremely busy um, through the Christmas drive. We're posting many times a day with updates on um, those who have donated, with where we're at on our fundraising goal, and who the moms are that we have, I mean, anonymously, basically. So um, who the moms are um, that we have um, already completed our fundraising goal for. So we fundraise as the applications come in. So right now we have, um, as I said, we've raised enough for the number one through 23 basically. And, um, and then we go on to the next one um, until we are able to fulfill all of those nominations with money. So that's how it works. Um, and there's also a little video on our website if you want to check that out to hear more about how the Christmas drive works at adopt a single mom forward slash Chris, uh, adopt a single mom dot org forward slash Christmas. So um, I'm Donna Nelson. Thank you for um, listening in. Thank you for sharing out this video. Please tag a single mom, tag a business or an organization um, or someone that you think would like to get involved through volunteering or um, by doing a team fundraising for us. And we will be back on the Adopt a Single Mom Facebook page tomorrow um, to share, start kicking off with you sharing the single mom stories. Good night, everyone.